Hello guys, I'm John and welcome to my channel. For today's topic, we're going to interpret the data presented in double bar graph. What is a double bar graph? Many of us are familiar with a bar graph. A bar graph is a graphical display of data using single bars of various heights. A double bar graph is a graphical display of information using two bars beside its others at various heights. The bars can be arranged vertically or horizontally. We can use double bar graph to compare two data groups. A double bar graph has two axes. The x-axis of the double bar graph shows the categories being compared. And the y-axis represents the scales. A scale is a set of numbers that represent the data organized into equal intervals. It is important to know that all double bar graph must have a title. The title of the double bar graph provides a general overview to the reader of what is being measured and compared. A double bar graph will also include a key. The key for a double bar graph will represent the group being compared with two separate colors. The information in a double bar graph is related and it compares one set of data to another. Take a moment and look at this double bar graph. With a double bar graph, we can interpret its data to answer questions. Question number one. Which two groups are being compared? In this double bar graph, boys and girls are being compared. Question number two. Which sport do the highest number of students enjoy? According to the double bar graph, most students enjoy swimming because swimming has the greatest number of students. Question number three. What is the amount of student for each category? In the bar graph, in the biking category, 18 students were compared. So, thus, 12 boys and 6 girls. In the swimming category, we have 27 students were compared. We have 10 boys and 17 girls. In the soccer category, 23 students were compared, 13 boys and 10 girls. In the basketball category, 26 students were compared, 17 boys and 9 girls. In the Frisbee category, 23 students were compared, 11 boys and 12 girls. These are just few questions we can answer by interpreting the data from this double bar graph. I hope you have learned a lot from this video. Don't forget to like, leave your comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!